Hi everybody, welcome back to So True underscore BH and I am so honored and privileged having you right now viewing my vlog today. And right now in Math in Love and Love in Math, we will be having or mafofocus tayo sa tinatawag nating properties of integers. In Filipino or in Tagalog, maybe pwede ba kaya to? Ang mga pagmamayari <laughs> ng integers. <laughs> pertaining to operations. So, there are five main properties of operations in integers. So, come. Kung alam niyo na to, maybe you just review. Kung hindi pa, let's learn and enjoy. Yeah! Thank you so much for joining and So, integers have five main properties of operations which are first, closure property followed by associative property then commutative property, distributive property, and lastly we have identity property. And according to experienced people talking about mathematics, it is important to know and learn the properties of integers because they will guide us with the basic or the fundamental skills in solving equations, especially in algebra. The operations to learn like multiplication, division, addition and subtraction or the MDAS on integers would be simpler with the help of these five properties. It is understood that integers are those any negative or positive numbers that also include zero. In other words, those numbers na makikita sa Cartesian coordinate plane. Kasi nga, di ba? Including zero. Review and learn. And let's zoom in closure property. It is like knowing that when I subtract or I add numbers or integers, the result is always be integers. And when I multiply, as long as one of the multipliers is integer, then the product is also an integer. Ibig sabihin nun ay, mag-add, subtract ka lang, expected the result is integer. Also, in multiplication, mas isa sa kanila, yung minimultiply mo is integer, expected din na result or ang product is integer. Yun lang. In real life, closure property is like in golden rule. What I sow is what I reap. Kung ano tinanim, siya nga anihin. All right. And let's move to associative property. Again, adding and multiplying are considered to be true in terms of simplifying with a grouping symbol. Take note, big word, grouping symbol. So, I can put the parentheses or any grouping symbol anywhere because the answers would not change. It is not true for subtraction. That's what I've been mentioning dun sa kabilang vlog ko about subtraction uh, prior to the grouping symbol. Dito ha, this property, ang always true lang dito is adding and multiplying. And big word, grouping symbol. How oh, eto, teka. In real life, for associative property, like, it's like taking hurdles in life that may come in random. Anytime and anywhere, still, the outcome is pleasant or okay. And number three, commutative property. This property tries to say that when I multiply and add integers in any order or placement of the digits or numbers, the result is the same but not true for the results when I will divide and subtract. So, ang partners dito ng mga operations are multiplication and addition. Then, hindi naman totoo or pwede for division and subtraction. Ibig sabihin na nito is, okay sa multiplication at saka addition, maske saan mo ilagay ang mga numbers kasi same ang results. De pwede para sa division and subtraction. Wait, commutative property in real life. Let me check. 
It is like whatever I do for physical self, the inner me is the same. <laughs> si ano pang gawin ko? Ang kaloob-looban ko ay yun pa rin. Okay, pang-apat na tayo, pang-apat na. While in distributive property, the use of grouping symbol is essential. Parang lugaw. <laughs> it is like allowing the integer outside the symbol be treated to what is inside. The PEMDAS is also applicable. In real life, distributive property, o nga, parang ang lugaw. Like sharing, especially now, in pandemic time. Distributive property. And finally, the PIF property, identity property. The basic thing here is when I multiply any integer by 1, the outcome would just be that number or integer. Also, in adding an integer with 0, the result is that integer or number, meaning 0 is the additive identity and 1 is the multiplicative identity. Ang dalawa lang yan ang basihan nyo, addition at saka yung multiplication. So in real life, it is like mirroring, uh, either being physical or emotional aspect. Uh, through the help of the physical mirror, checking my physical self, and even knowing my inner self, considering my conscience. And those are the five main properties of integers i hope you learned here and have reviewed here in my simple vlog thank you so much don't forget to do the basics for me yeah and my honor having you always in my vlog please always visit and please share to your family members to your friends na alam yung this vlog could help thank you so much you are true so